a brand new 2020 diecast, and one of the most underrated primary paint schemes of the year. Here's Eric Amarola's 2020 Smithfield Ford Mustang. Hello, Teddy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's car is going to be Eric Almarola's 2020 Smithfield Ford Mustang. Now, something's a little different about, about this paint scheme. I don't know why, but I feel like this has had uh, more contingencies uh, than most uh, releases, believe it or not. I mean, wow. I mean, wow, seeing the, uh, the sponsors down here, the sponsors here, and the sponsors here. Yeah, it kind of brings back some uh, throwback feels with all those contingencies that have uh, pretty much uh, evaporated in the stock car auto racing premier sports. And I tell you what, man, this is a paint scheme that I am so glad they didn't change. They could have just ruined it. No, this is a paint scheme that's virtually untouched since 2018. And I can be honest with you, I love it. Uh, the signature gold numbers, the white and black, kind of like a... Uh, it's almost like a, like a tear pattern, right? It's like, like you tear, you, you like these are two pieces of paper. They're just like ripping it apart. I love it, man. Very simple, very nice looking paint scheme, and it's so different to get a white and black uh, Smithfield card compared to the uh, the Eric Amarola days at RPM, where it was the Petty Blue. So it's kind of like a really nice uh, rebranding, so to speak, for uh, you know their their presence in NASCAR, and I think it's worked pretty good. I mean, heck, he's even won a Talladega race. Uh, with Smithfield on board. And of course, this is the 2020 box. You know, you can see it has the uh, Stuart Haas Racing ribbon that goes around. You know, the Stuart Haas Racing uh, die casts have the silver ribbon that goes around the box. But of course, the Joe Gibbs Racing have the maroon. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2020 Eric Amarola Smithfield Ford Mustang out the box. Just kidding. Let's get it out of the box. Alrighty, folks, brand new out of the box. Here is Eric Almarola's 2020 Smithfield Ford Mustang. I tell you what, man, this paint scheme is so underrated, it's ridiculous. You have this uh, tear pattern. Think of it as like a like an exotic zebra pattern, right? Black, white, gold numbers. Whew. Man, I tell you, if this car had gold wheels, oh, sweet baby Jesus, this thing would be a beautiful looking race car as well. I could imagine that. I, I really could imagine gold wheels on this. I don't know why, but I could imagine that. Who knows? Maybe I'll do it. But either way, it's still a fantastic looking race car. So uh, the back end of the car is so, I don't know why, but this is such a subtle difference. But it just, it makes such a huge difference uh, with the, the, the appearance of this paint scheme. You have kind of like the, the black splitter here. Right, it goes down. Uh, here comes the white coming up. Oh, you got the black trim that goes underneath the tire. And it just wraps around the, the back end of the Mustang. And you can really see it here how the, the kick out on the back bumper, all that is just one similar line. It's not a sharp edge, too. It's kind of a uh, square with a rounded corner. And it just wraps around the tail end of the car. And you go to the back end of the car, it's just all black as well as a spoiler. That is, uh, I, I just, I don't know why, but it's a fantastic looking race car, man. Wow. Over here to the nose of the car, you got Smithfield on deck. You can really see the outlining of the decals, too. Look at that. You can just really see the outlining there, which is honestly not too common with Lionel Racing. I uh, got Ford right there. I love the, the black background with the blue over. Looks very good. You got Mustang. Look at those. those bro, that looks like cat whiskers, man. Look at that. It's freaking cat whiskers. Uh, you got the eyes. You got the cat whiskers. You got the Mustang. You got its mouth down here. It's just chilling. Uh, you got this you got the splitter right here very nice you got a random squiggly line right here what the heck is that that's cool I guess they just decided to throw that on the car uh, you got beautiful Mustang font I like that very sharp I will say though gold uh, you know Mustang right there would look really cool <laughs> if they put it in the Mustang font that looked pretty cool you got Stuart Haas racing Sunoco uh, the tail light <clears throat> the headlights look pretty good as well I got a slight paint chip right there unfortunately uh, got number 10 there as well. Over here to the left side of the car, you got NASCAR Race Car, NASCAR Cup Series, 3M, Lincoln Welders. Uh, the trim line is all one paint scheme. There's no uh, black trim. The wrap goes all the way down to the skirts of the car. Looks very good. 
Uh, I got the gold number tin, man. I love that. You got a little bit of a, some sparkle, sparkle on the tin. It looks, looks fantastic. Uh, you can no notice how the pattern, how uh, the the outlines of it, it's kind of like a like a brush stroke, right? But the middle of it's kind of like a blur, right? It's like the the focus of the car, and that's how graphic design works. You know, uh, if you took and put the pattern underneath the Smithfield logo, it'd be hard to see. Well, if you took the tin and you put it right here, it would be hard to see. It would look too good because the pattern is going to be completely covered up by the number but when you make the background of it wrap around the number like that that's how you make a paint scheme look good those are little those are little tips that some of these graphic designers do so you got eric amarola right there on the name rail you got ford mobile one high smithfield i think that's gobowling.com uh nathan's uh eckridge don't know what that is uh exalta rush truck centers going to the back end of the car you got a little haas logo we got american ethanol spot on with the the placement there great job line now like that uh i got mobile one and goodyear right there over the left front fender small little paint speck right here i don't know if that's a chip or an overlay uh that that's indeed a chip but if i really wanted to i could fix it with some paint <laughs> Over here to the back end of the car, you got Smithfield over the back plate, so to speak. You got Mobile One, Ford, you got the number 10. Uh, very sharp looking race car, man. I just, I just love how the paint scheme wraps up. It's not a sharp line. It's like a, just wraps with the Mustang body, goes up. It's just, I don't know why. It just looks so freaking good, man. It's very well balanced. And you notice how like the, the sides of it, it's kind of like angled forward. Like it's not flat like that. It's kind of like going like i don't know it just looks fast man very good looking race car and over here to the right side of the car i mean just beautiful man number 10 very good placement of the number big number two and it's crazy to think that danic patrick once drove this 10 car full time Uh, I don't think many of us have wrapped our minds around that idea that Smithfield um, used to not be on the 10 car and he used to be GoDaddy or Nature's Bakery or whatever the heck spots are Danica. Really cool looking car though. I, I, I just, man, it's such an underrated paint scheme. Like, it, it's not the most flashy, but it's just a really good looking race car. Like, I, I, can't, I can't disagree. It's a very good looking race car. And over here to the roof of the car, you got the gold number 10 once again, just beautiful, man. And notice how the font on the door is a little bit more balanced, a little bit more uh, symmetrical to all four corner points of the font. And you go up here, and it's kind of stretched to match the roof pattern. That's something that's a staple in stock car racing, and I think they did a very good job of that. Looks pretty good. Uh, you got uh, Smithfield on the roof flaps. You got Eric Almirola nameplate. The back windshield's a little bit wonky. Uh, good luck getting through a uh, NASCAR inspection with that. Smithfield uh, over here on the deck one. Well, folks, that is it for today. Oh, crikey. I think I've got some die casts. Oh, crikey, mate. I see what we got in here. Oh, look at that. Let me know what y'all think about this 2020 Smithfield Ford Mustang for Eric Almirola. Uh, this paint scheme, man, I just, something about it, man, it's just a really good looking race car. And I'm hoping we get some good alternate paint schemes with this cat in 2020. In 2019, we did get the primary, which was this car. We got the, uh, the Darlington throwback, which was DMP'd, and we got the Shazam car. So I'm hoping we can get one of those bacon cars or something in 2020. I think that would be great. I really do. I think that would be great. Who knows? Uh, Lionel's uh, pre-order system, you never know with those, you really know, it's like a roulette, man. You put a good paint scheme with a good driver, and their name ain't Kevin Harvick or Chase Elliott, there's a pretty good chance it's gonna get DMP. Just saying. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, give, give it a big thumbs up, give it a big thumbs up for bacon. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you're having a great one, follow me on Instagram, at DieCastBuffet. Hope you're having a great one. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.